Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, we're going to be doing the Blue Eye Piper Mythic Chaos whatever deck profile. If you guys would like to see the deck, um, I have three wonderful games of it below. Um, a really fun deck, uh, kind of like a, a fun tier two deck. Definitely not meta, but extremely fun to play. We're going to get down to the main deck, which is two copies of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, you don't need three, and one, if it ever gets bottomless, you're a little screwed. So, two is the perfect combination. Being a 3,000 attack monster, the strongest normal monster in the game um, it, it's just uh, amazing what this card can do uh, and it's so many uh, multiple combos and multiple ways you can bring this card out but the preferred way is uh, the maiden combo next we're going to be running two copies of chaos sorcerer this deck would not be chaos without chaos sorcerer because obviously it has that name banish two while well, lighten a dark monster which is what this deck is filled up to special summon himself and then just proceed with more combos in this this is a very big combo orientated deck um, Tragody is going to follow up, being able to make himself level 1, level 8, um, whatever level he needs to be to go into a Synchro and XC play, um, do just a whole bunch of wacky combos, really good card in here. Um, two copies of Caius the Shadow Monarch. Caius is, we run, I'm sorry, we run uh, Gores, two Trags, three Faders, and two uh, the Ghost Trick Jack Frost card. So Caius is more than welcomed in this deck. Being able to tribute one of your monsters to summon them, get rid of your opponent's threats, just an extremely good card in the deck. Next is one copy of Black Luster Soldier. Uh, like I said, wouldn't be chaos without them. Uh, one copy of Gores, and that's going to sum up the high tribute monsters. We're going to get down to the low level monsters. We're going to be running three copies of Mystic Piper. Um, the main basis to the deck. If you summon them, tribute them, you reveal a level 1 and draw another card, it's going to be the main advantage engine of the deck and the reason why this deck is so good. Next is 3 copy of King Kabayo. Now, a lot of people only run 2. I run 3 to see King Kabayo as fast as possible. And also, Exceed and Synchro plays with King Kabayo are necessary. Sometimes you just drop that King Kabayo special summon, your Effect Veiler or your Blue-Eyed Maiden, go into your Formula Synchron, and then just do other plays from there. Sometimes you Exceed to Slacker. Just a really good card, and especially if you do Exceed in Synchro, you have another one on the way. Next would be 3 copies of Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Um, the main reason why this deck can be so aggro, special summoning blue eyes from the deck or graveyard or hand or whatever, wherever else you can get it, having a 3000 beater and the capabilities to synchro, really good card right here. Three copies of Battle Fader, uh, stopping the opponent's attacks. We run three traps and none of them will defensively stop the opponent. So Battle Fader is a mandatory to be maxed out. Keep in mind that it's also a level one monster. Three copies of Effect Veiler, um, easily one of the best level one monsters in the game, and Effect Negation, it's, a negation, it's also a tuner. Uh, two copies of Jack Frost, uh, like I said, we run no defensive traps in here, so the two Jack Frost, three Battle Fader has to suffice for stopping the opponent's attacks. It also flips some of those pesky cards phase down to allow us to go through our plays. Um, it hits Ophion, if you guys are seeing that, and your uh, low-level locals. Uh, it's just a really good card in this deck, and it's a level one. You can't go wrong because it's a level one. For spells, we're going to be running three copies of Mystical Space Typhoon because of back row. We hate back row. Three copies of Where Art Thou. Now, I, there was a time where I wasn't running any, and then there was a time where I wasn't running. I was just running two and one. Um, I decided to max it out because this deck needs consistency, and this is exactly what this card adds. Nothing but consistency. Being able to add any of your monsters, and even sometimes at the cost of 2,000 light points, adding a battle fader to save yourself is just really, really good and highly underrated. Um, two copies of Wonder Wand. I need to trigger off Maiden's Effect. Excuse me for that one being common. I didn't really want to find my Ultra Rare, but I really need to trigger off Maiden's Effect. Um, sometimes I can use it on the Chaos Sorcerer. I can use it on um, an Effect Veiler. I can use it on a Monster Summon. It's just a pretty good card in here. So many Spellcasters in here, especially when you go in your Arcanine play, blow up two, activate that, draw two cards. It's not really a bad card. Um, one for one, being able to access almost half our deck through one spell card, and it special summons the monster to the field. It really can help us get uh, the deck jump started. And one copy of Dark Hole. That's basically going to sum up the spells. Um, next for traps will be three copies of Skill Prisoner. Uh, the, there's a couple big reasons why Skill Prisoner is in here. First, you get the effect of targeting one of your monsters twice. Um, that works extremely well with Maiden and Eyes of, Eyes of Blue. Being able to target yourself twice, once on your opponent's turn, once on your turn, to be able to summon Blue Eyes White Dragon twice and then exceed into an Azure Eyes, which means basically you have a protected 3000 beater and a 2500 monster that can continually recurse itself. Um, Next is because Effect Veiler really hurts this deck. Um, cards like Effect Veiler, Big Eye, 
monster effects, fire from uh, fire fist bear really hurt this deck, and skill prisoner is a legitimate answer too. It's just a really good card and highly underrated. We main board it for multiple reasons. Now we're gonna go on to the extra deck. The extra deck consists of one Leo. You summon this monster a lot more than you you would think. Really, really good, highly underrated. He should have at least been a super rare out of the out of this pack. But a 3100 beater that prevents himself from targeting unless you go to main phase two, pretty good. Uh, two copy of Azor Eyes. You can summon this card fairly easy with this deck. And two copies is typically mandatory just because you can make it so easy and so well. And you run so many resources to go into it. Um, this is one of our boss monsters in the deck. And it, it's it's a pain to get over, especially when you can get its effect off. One copy of uh, Stardust Spark Dragon for obvious reasons. Crimson Blader, stop those opponents uh, like Mermos and stuff. Yeah. One copy of Arcanite Magician. Now, the reason why I run Arcanite Magician is because this is a really fun card to play. And like I said, this is a Tier 2 deck, so we definitely can do it. Um, also, it's not really mandatory, but the combos that come with it are so amazing. Um, Chaos Sorcerer plus one of your uh, Tuner Material Monsters, which are one, makes Arcanite Magician. Being able to blow up uh, two cards, if you already use Chaos Sorcerer's effect, you've effectively gotten rid of three cards. And whatever you do with Arcanite Magician afterwards is your business, because mainly you just plus with Arcanite Magician hard enough any other play after that just results in further pluses and that's a deck that's a, that's something that this deck can really capitalize on next is one copy of black rose dragon for obvious reasons hts Sihemoth, um probably the best level six monster besides vulcan in easy removal um armadas misber colossus extremely easy to make in here formula synchron like i said really easy to make in here and we run level eight x seeds because Unbelievably, these, like I said, are extremely easy to make. Divine Dragonite Fergland, Philgrand, Tachyon Dragon for those game ending plays, um, Heretic Dragon because we generate so much advantage, and when we do make this card, we can just get off all of that advantage before we have to discard it at our end phase and blow up the opponent's field. And last, that one copy of Slacker Magician. Um, if you really wanted to, I guess you could play two. I've only really needed one because those times when I do summon it, it's just for just stalling so I can get a, a hand back or figure out a plan to uh, overwhelm the opponent. But this card is just really, really good in this deck, especially since you can summon it at any given time. Um, next for the uh, side deck, I apologize. We're going to run a triple copy of Maxi. Ooh, you didn't see that. Triple copies of Maxi. Um, we need to get that advantage as fast as possible. If our opponent wants to help us into our drawing deck by giving us cards to draw, Maxi will definitely get it, get it, get it there for us. Triple Morphing Jar. Um, a lot of decks that the opponent play will be kind of jerkish, and a lot of cards that they side to are in the form of a monster, so Morphing Jar typically gets rid of that. Keep in mind, if it's a Synchro XC Fusion, that they do not get a monster, it just goes back into their deck. For it works really well with us. Um, triple copy of XC Encore. A lot of Synchros are, are very annoying, very pesky, and very hard to get over, so XC Encore really takes care of that, especially Ophion. A uh, triple copy of Fairy Wind for those uh, Fire Fists, Gravekeeper, Harpy, whatever players. Um, Fairy Wind typically takes care of the job because it activates before your opponent, or it destroys the, the continuous spell card or trap card before the card resolves, so we typically get to do whatever we want with it. And then triple copy of Decree for those back row heavy decks that we just really can't deal with in any other means. Thank you guys for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.